Good day, YouTubers. A good while back, I decided to put a one kilowatt transducer on my boat, and because it's such a huge unit, and my boat's already got three transducers on the transom already, I decided that I'd like to mount that in hull or through hull. So I had a look at all my options. I couldn't do a through hull easily, so I decided I'd go with the in hull mounted over the tunnel on the middle of the boat, because that was the only place I could get to it easily, and there wasn't a lot of room there anyway. I ended up abandoning it because all the advice I got from Airmar was that mounting over a tunnel in the hull wasn't a good idea due to the potential of turbulence and air bubbles going through that tunnel. I don't know if that's right, but given the price of the transducer I decided not to risk throwing that much money away and I ended up going with the transom mount. However, by mounting it over the tunnel in a spot where I couldn't get to, it was extremely difficult to get the box that the transducer fitted in cut to the shape of the hull. Even though I abandoned the project, I did get far enough to organising that and I thought it might be interesting for you to see how you can go about doing something like this in a space where you can't get to. You have to bring that space out so you can work with it and then you can take your transducer box or whatever it is you're trying to fit and mount it in the boat. So I thought I'd throw this out as a just a midweek bonus video. I hope you find it useful. I've got a couple of bits of cardboard here that I've lined with duct tape and the idea here is to create a dam to hold the moulding compound in while it sets without going to a lot of trouble trying to make a wooden dam. Uh, the cardboard cutout is going to be easier and I'm hoping that the masking tape will stop the uh, mould material from penetrating into the cardboard and spoiling it shouldn't actually be too spoiled if it gets into the sides it shouldn't be that much of a drama but better safe than sorry the key bit is that the floor is shaped correctly let's get these out of the way I've cut this piece of ply precisely the size of the in-hole transducer box and I'm going to sit that down there and put the dams either side of it with a little bit of face around the outside just to make sure I get a, a good moulding off of it. And yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I can't get a camera in when I'm working but I will do the job and then put a camera in to show you how it's turned out. It's hard to see down in there but that's where I've got to mount this transducer. It's probably one of the few places in the boat to put it. And because of the concave under the centre line of the hull, it's a very uneven floor. So I need to make a mould to be able to cut the transducer box to fit it. That flies the size of the transducer box, so it's a pretty snug fit in there. I'm actually going to have to shave a bit off the length of the box to, to make it fit, but hopefully I don't think it'll be too much, maybe 5 mils, so I might be able to get a little bit off both sides to make that sit down there nice. That's the hope anyway. So I'm going to make the mould and have a look at it and maybe the transducer won't work at all. I'll have to scrap the idea, but see how we go. This is the silk and rubber mould at the bottom of the boat. This part down here is the underneath of the boat, so that's the shape of the inside of the hull there. Next thing to do is I'm going to make a frame around this like that and I'll set that in the middle of it and I'm going to pour plaster of Paris down there so the plaster of Paris will then have the shape of the inside of the boat and I can then cut the piece I want to fit in there to be the exact shape of the inside of the boat. Long way to go about it but it will make the job a lot easier in the long run particularly because I can't get down in there to see whether anything's fitting or not. And there's the box all put together. It only took a couple of seconds. I just banged the two nails half in on each of the members. That'll hold it good enough. It doesn't have to be square or anything. The whole thing's going to be dumped after I'm finished. It is just a one-off. So, so nothing, nothing special needed. So now all I've got to do is mix that up and let the plaster power set. Now put a bit of plastic under that to stop it sticking to the table. I'll spray a bit of uh, WD-40 or CRC or something on the inside of the wood to stop it sticking to the wood and that should be good enough for this. Maybe even a bit of old sample if I can find any. 
Kāds, kur viņas pārsts ar pērts un viņi iegāk pēmes to būra. Es tā nav pēmes, tad nes bija hau. Būra arī viņi, kas esmu tā bija un haino arī arī indi. Smūk, lai kāds pārsts ar pērts ir. Un tā man mičet un hāvs, tikai plāstām un kāds ar mičet ol. Es stādu, ka te un to ar pēmes. A bit higgledy piggledy, but it will do the job, I think. Just gotta let him sit now. And now it just remains to. piece out of there and that looks like it will happen without too much trouble. It's already easing off the sides but I'll slip something pin down there and help lift it but I'm going to wait for that to dry a bit more first just in case as an issue. It should be plenty strong enough once it's dried a bit more. Clean this up and then when I'm finished I'll have the exact shape that I've got available to fit that party. Silicon rubber core out of the mould and I'm left with this. Got a few voids there but that doesn't matter. The key point is that I've got the exact shape of the bottom of the boat so I can see A if I can fit the transducer in there and B if I can I can shape it exactly to fit before I go in the boat and that's a good thing because there's not enough room to work once it's in there so it has to be shaped before it goes in or not at all. Measuring him, whoa, we're, we're okay at the top, we need 221 and we've got 225, 221 over there, 221, so we've got a minimum of 221 all the way across. But down at the bottom, we are down to about 210. So that means somewhere I've got to lose a bit over five mils off each side to bevel it in to fit down to the bottom of the floor. So uh, I'll have to just measure up the unit and see if that can be done. Well fortunately or unfortunately as the case may be, this is as far as I got with the project. I talked to Trimax who I was going to buy the transducer off. I talked to Emma who produced the transducer and both said that it wasn't a good idea to put an in-hull transducer looking through the concave section of the hull that I have. I'm not sure if they're right to be honest because I really want that transducer for use at low speed. I don't think there'll be any aeration or problems with it running at low speeds like you know, four knots and below. It's certainly not going to read at speed if there's a lot of air going through that tunnel, which they say there is. I'm, again, not real sure. Going on their advice, they said don't do it. So, at the moment, I am sitting and waiting and thinking about it, and I might contact the boat manufacturer and see what he thinks, or I might put it up on the internet and see if anyone else has done it, or I might do both. But for the moment, I'm just sitting on the fence and waiting and thinking about it, because those one kilowatt chirp transducers that sit on the transom are bloody huge. I don't really want to hang one out there if I can help it. On the other hand, I do want a one kilowatt chirp transducer, so one way or another I will have one. It's just going to take a few more months than I thought. And despite that, I think that what I've done so far is a really good idea for getting a moulding of the bottom of your boat. If your boat's an odd shape, this is the sort of thing you need to do so that you can get an accurate fit on your chirp transducer. So this part of the video is worth knowing about anyway. Well, that's it. I didn't finish the job, but so far so good. It is working out exactly as I'd planned. I hope it gives you some ideas if you have to do anything similar. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe for more. Until next time, good fishing.